In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for the BrI2- ion. We'll also look at molecular geometry and the electron geometry. So first off, let's count the valence electrons up for BrI2-. Bromine group 17, sometimes called 7A, has seven valence electrons, and then iodine, same group. So it has seven, but we have two iodine atoms. And this electron up here, this negative sign, it means we have an extra electron. So let's add that in too. Seven plus 14, 21 plus one is 22 total valence electrons for the BrI2 minus Lewis structure. So normally we would put the least electronegative element in the center. In this case, that's the iodine. But since we have two iodine atoms, I'd like to put the bromine in the center. They're very close in their electronegativities, but symmetry is also nice. So I'm gonna do that and we'll check the formal charges a little bit later. So we have 22 valence electrons. We're gonna put two between the atoms. That's gonna form our chemical bond. So we've used four and we'll complete the octets here on these iodine atoms. So at this point, we've used 14, we have six more. So we could put two here, that's 18, but we still have four more and we need to put them somewhere. Elements in period three and below, they can have more than eight valence electrons in expanded octet. So bromine can have an expanded octet. So that's what we'll do is we'll put these electrons here on the bromine. So this is our Lewis structure for BrI2 minus. If you look at the formal charges for BrI2 minus, the iodine here, that's zero. This one's the same, zero. And then the bromine in the center, that's minus one. And that makes sense. We would expect the formal charge, the negative formal charge, to be on the more electronegative element. So that makes me more comfortable that we put bromine in the middle here. Note that the total formal charge, that adds up to the charge on the ion. And this is as close to zero as it can be while still matching that ionic charge. So this is a very favorable or likely Lewis structure for BrI2 minus. Since it is an ion, we do need to put brackets around it. And then we'll put a negative sign outside of the brackets here. So this is our Lewis structure for BrI2 minus. Let's look at the molecular geometry quickly. We can see we have two atoms here, and then we have one, two, three lone pairs. So the purple, that'll be the bromine. We'll add two iodine atoms. They spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. And then we have three lone pairs, one, two, and three and we end up with what's called a linear molecular geometry. So the bond angle here is about 180. If you ignore those lone pairs, you can see it's a straight line. We wanna look at the electron geometry. We have to take into account these lone pairs. We end up with what's called a trigonal bipyramidal electron geometry. So the molecular geometry, that's linear, straight line. The atoms are in a straight line, but the electron geometry, that's trigonal bipyramidal. Back to our Lewis structure. You could also use the AXE notation for the molecular geometry where A, that would be the central atom, the bromine X, that would be the number of atoms bonded. We have the two iodine atoms and E, the number of lone pairs, three, and that would give you a linear molecular geometry as well. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.